Good morning, folks. Quick update to yesterday's M-Flare and CME that happened just before the news. We were able to show the flash of X-ray radiation but had no SOHO updates or endless spirals. We've got them now along with the side view from Stereo A. Enlil shows our already expected CME hitting a day before the one made yesterday. Neither will do damage, but they may spark magnetic instability. This has been a watch of oddity. First, the Caribbean four-pointers are noteworthy uptick precursors, but we also had a four-pointer in Hungary. That's another rare, but not massive quake. Going back 113 years, we see only a handful of such quakes in Hungary. So even though this watch has seen only two six-pointers, We've had quakes that won't count for this watch in Hungary, the North Atlantic, and Hawaii that are all less common than 8-pointers. Perhaps such rarity should be factored in the future. Couple developments around the world. Dust and particles are set to bring blood rain and a host of other precipitatory phenomena. Good historical perspective in the linked article. This is infuriating. The man in charge was forced to admit cesium contamination of the water two days ago and yesterday had to release information about cracks in the water storage tanks. Sushi glow sticks, Brody. Ain't that a bee. There are no buoys in event mode, but a bunch are shut off as often happens. No indications of anomalous readings. Coming to weather, all eyes on the Gulf of Mexico because the Florida coastline is already taking the beginning of Tropical Storm Andrea. Landfall is tonight, and this does have potential to cross into the Atlantic and re-strengthen this weekend. Also got tornado watches in Texas, New Mexico, and south into Mexico. The rain northwest here will cease as moisture is building east of Australia, New Zealand up next. The rivers are cresting in flood-stricken Europe as thunderstorm warnings do rattle north as far as Finland. Yet another gamma ray burst last night, this out of Celestial South. Looking at the ace solar wind, you will notice a ramp of speed and density. And the fact that this minor variation occurred within the speedy coronal hole stream, the likely culprit is the northern coronal hole stream, which faced us a few days earlier. The ramp is having minor disturbance with plasma penetration returning and a build back of the baseline inductions. Good news is a proton wave is bad for electron storms. Stand down, soldier. FYI, if this looks weird, it is because yesterday afternoon they thought it would be fun to switch the colors on us. I think we'll manage. Flaring is about as fickle as it gets. Despite the cresting delta, my eyes are fixed on the new active region popping up on the north. Unfortunately, he actually looked stronger last night, but he's maintaining buried up polarity and still young. Last 48 hours of direct magnetic influence before the umbral field opening turns and we await the solar wind stream from it. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.